Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Nissan Altima can take you to some really cool places. Whether it be through camping, biking, or even towing a small U-Haul trailer just about anywhere in North America, let's go ahead and break down that install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. We're going to start by prepping the underbody of our vehicle for the hitch. Our steps for this installation are identical on both the passenger and the driver's side, so we'll show you everything over here on the driver's side. We're going to start by removing the mufflers. They're held in by these clamps, and we're going to loosen up this clamp right here using a 15 millimeter socket. So now that that clamp is loose, we're just going to pull out on it towards the outside of the vehicle so that it slides off of the pipe. And now we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now that we have our mufflers disconnected, we're gonna remove them by pulling down and then out. So our muffler is attached by this post onto this rubber hanger that's attached to the side of the frame. And once we have this removed, we're gonna repeat on the passenger side. Next, we would remove the heat shields on both sides of our vehicle. They'd be held in by two rivets that you would just drill out, but our vehicle does not have those heat shields. So we're gonna move on to our next step. On the bottom of our frame rail, we have these two holes, which is where our hitch will be attached. And this is the same on both sides. Now, as you can see, our hardware doesn't fit. The holes are too small. We're gonna to need to enlarge this front hole to allow us to bring our hardware into place. So to enlarge that hole, we're gonna use our step bit. Now, as we drill it, we're gonna check it periodically to make sure our hardware fits. All right, so now that it fits, we're gonna repeat on the passenger side. Now that we have our two access holes drilled, we're gonna bring our hardware into place using the provided fish wires. Now for each attachment point, we have a carriage bolt and carriage block. So to get them into place, we're gonna take our fish wire with the coiled end, and we're gonna push it through our rear hole, and it'll come out of the access hole. And then we'll attach our hardware onto the coiled end, and we're gonna push the block in first followed by our bolt. So for our access hole, we're gonna use a reverse fish wire technique. We're gonna take our fish wire and we're going to put it onto the bolt. And we'll push our bolt in to our access hole, followed by our block. And then we'll just pull it right back down. And we're gonna leave our fish wires on and then we're gonna repeat on the passenger side. So now we're ready to bring our hitch into position. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as this hitch can be a little heavy. Now, before we raise it all the way, we're gonna bring our fish wires through our holes. That way we don't knock it back into the frame. And we'll do that on the passenger side as well. Now with our hitch in place, we're going to secure our hardware using the provided flange nuts. We're gonna remove the fish wires. And we'll repeat that on all the other bolts. Now with all of our hardware in place, we're gonna tighten and torque all of our bolts to the manufacturer specification. We're gonna use a 19 millimeter socket and a five inch extension. and we'll repeat on the passenger side. Now with our hitch installed, we're gonna reinstall our exhaust on both sides. Now we're gonna line up our clamp, but we're just gonna push it all the way back in. Now that we have it lined up, we're gonna re-tighten that clamp using our 15 millimeter socket. With our hitch installed, we went ahead and pulled our vehicle down onto level ground to show you some important measurements for your hitch accessories. This is an inch and a quarter receiver from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is six inches, and from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is nine and a half inches. This will help you determine the length rise and drop for your hitch accessories. All right guys, so that wraps up our install and our video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about this product or if you'd like to schedule an installation with the U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.